What's up, everybody? It's AJ with each other.com. Today we're checking out the Kuat NV 2.0 on our 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. It's a good platform rack. They carry two bikes at once. It's very versatile. It can hold a road bike. This is even a carbon fiber bike because it doesn't make contact. The hook here going down on the tire doesn't make contact with the frame, so it's safe to put this on here. But it'll also hold a mountain bike, kids' bike alternative frame bikes, and even with an adapter, you can put a fat tire bike on here. So that gives you plenty of options to carry all the bikes you need. Let's take a closer look at it. I already kind of mentioned the hook here. It comes down on the front tire, holding it in place. Back here you have the ratchet strap that easily comes out like that. And you can pull nice and tight. That way you know the bike's not going anywhere. Now before we loosen those though, I'm going to show you an extra feature this bike rack has. It can actually tilt down with the bike on it so you can get to the back of your vehicle. I'm just going to lift up here by the bike rack. Do you see me pull the lever over here? It's a real nice lever. It's not just like one of those pins that you have to pull out and then keep track of. Now you can get to the back of your vehicle if you've got a cooler back there, maybe a bike helmet or something. You don't have to completely ruin the bike rack to get there. Tilt it back up. That latch snaps back into place, letting you know it's nice and sturdy. Let's go ahead and remove the bike so we can take a closer look. I know I talked about the wheel hook earlier, but it, you push this button here and just bring it down on the tire. It's really easy to remove. And just set it down there. Of the ratchet strap and then we'll remove our bike. Looking closely at the cradle here you can see how it's actually made for the different styles of bike. This middle one is perfect for the road bikes, slightly bigger is mountain bikes and then the big all together would be for fat tire bikes. So it's awesome that it can hold all those different styles of bikes. Fold our arm in. I also like to replace the straps here. I'm not using them. Let's go ahead and measure how far out it is from the back of your vehicle. Going for the bumper, the almost point. Looks like it's 28 and a quarter inches out. It's a good thing to keep in mind if you're new to the bike rack world or something like that. You just want to make sure you remember that it's back there. When you're going in tight spaces, let's say you're backing out somewhere, backing in somewhere, or just pulling in your garage, remember that this is back here. The nice feature on this one, though, is just like it tilts down, it also folds up. Pull that lever again. We can fold it up. And now it takes up way less space. Let's see just how much. You go from the bumper to the outermost point, which would probably be the knob here. Looks like it's 13 inches, so it's way less. But still, you want to remember that it's back there when you're backing up. It's just the extra add-on to your vehicle. It looks like you got about... About two inches in between the bumper and your bike rack, so don't worry about it moving anywhere. It doesn't move all that much because of the anti-rattle, but if it was to jiggle around a little bit while you're driving, it's not going to come even close to the vehicle, so you have that going for you too. Let's take a look at how it attaches. This one's unique in style because it's got this knob back here that you can loosen, and when you put the, put the pin through, it latches around that knob and tightens everything in the bike rack. This is. You can see untighten there. I'm gonna tighten it up with the knob. Get it nice and tight. And you can see now when it's tight, there's absolutely no movement whatsoever. So that's really good. I can know it's secure going down the road. And if you load it up with like a fat tire bike or a mountain bike that's a little heavier, you're not gonna have any problems. It does fit two inch by two inch hitches. And I think that about does it for our look at the Kuat NV 2.0. I hope this helped.
First we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots. First, we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots.